what will be the next bounty for the Straw Hats after the Egghead arc? Let's talk about that after the intro. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. And before we get into the content of this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and activate the notification bell so you don't miss anything. And well, let's get into the video. The bounty reveal is one of the most anticipated moments for any One Piece fan. We're always thinking and theorizing about how much each pirate will get the next time there's an update. The bounty system is so cool that Oda even found a way for the Marines to have their bounties now, thanks to the genius idea of the Cross Guild. And well, another arc might have ended, and with the conclusion of the Egghead arc, one question arises. Okay, what will the Straw Hats' bounties be now? The issue is that we just had a very recent update on everyone's bounties after the victory in Wano. However, since the whole Egghead incident became public knowledge, it will be very difficult for the world government and the Marines to cover up what happened there, especially since the Straw Hats survived a buster call and an admiral. I don't see any reason why the bounties wouldn't be updated again. And since we're in the final saga, we might have more bounty updates than we're used to. With all that said, let's look at the possibilities for the next Straw Hat bounties. Just a note here, Oda doesn't use random numbers for bounties, so I believe the numbers will again have some explanation. However, this is impossible to predict, so I'll share my closest expectations. Chopper, I think it will go to 2,000 berries. The joke continues, Oda doesn't get tired of it, and I believe it will carry on here. Since this arc was shorter and the updates were recent, I believe Oda will only increase most of the crew's bounties by 100 million berries. Here are my guesses. Nami, 466 million berries. Brooke, 483 million berries. Frankie, 494 million berries. Usopp, 600 million berries. Nico Robin, 1 billion berries. Among all of them, I believe Frankie had a better role in the Egghead arc, but I don't think Oda will favor him for that. Now let's talk about the quartet, and I believe Oda will correct Wano at this point. What do I mean? The bounties will be higher than those of the Calamities, going as follows. Sanji, 1 billion, 350 million berries, surpassing Queen's bounty. Jinbei, 1 billion, 400 million berries. I believe at some point Sanji will surpass Jinbei's bounty, but I don't see that happening in this arc. Zoro, 1 billion, 500 million berries. Among these three, Zoro was the only one to actually defeat someone in the arc. I'm talking about Rob Lucci, but I'm not sure if this will be reflected in his bounty. Luffy, 4 billion berries. The big increase will be for Luffy. I believe he will reach the 4 billion mark. He will be credited as the one mainly responsible for the events at Egghead and the abduction of Vegapunk. So, it's time for our Luffy to break the 4 billion berries barrier. And he won't get a bounty higher than Blackbeard's because Blackbeard himself will have his bounty raised for defeating Law. I guess Blackbeard will have a bounty of 4 billion 500 million berries. Shanks will also have his bounty raised reaching 4 billion 600 million berries for defeating Kid. Since we haven't seen any known moves from Buggy, I don't see why his bounty would increase. Well, that's it. These are my predictions. What do you think? Does it make sense or not? Leave your thoughts in the comments. If you like the video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the notification bell. See you next time, and thanks.